Oh, Rick. <laughs> Jay, shall we, mate? Good, mate. Good, good, good. Another week. Here we are. We're in the eighth yeah, week, buddy. I believe, of the year already. Time oh, is just flying, flying by, by, mate. Uh, big day, though, for us because after Huge day. this... After this show, we go and see the Batman. Uh, yes. And we're both obviously very excited, and it's no surprise. It's really hard to avoid that news, but uh, early man. reviews are very positive, mm. So, yeah. which has just amped up our excitement and uh, yeah, raised my expectation just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. So yeah. um, we can't wait. And we'll give, you a, we'll give the guys a review on this show exclusively. We will. Next week on our thoughts on what we thought of the Batman. So yep. that should be good. But before we go, Henrik, I've got a little present for you here. As you know, some people may know out there, I was a collector, used to collect things and all that. And I've kind of re- in recent times moved away from that, got rid of all that stuff. Correct. But there was a piece that I saw that I had to get for you, Rick. So What? Uh, just something small. Which I love being <laughs> something small. And I don't even know if you own one. But I know that you're a Rick and Morty fan. Oh, probably. No doubt. Yes. Right? You're a big yes. Rick and Morty fan. I love so Rick I and Morty. I saw this and I thought, why not get Rick a portal gun? Oh, I need a portal gun. Oh, do you have dude, the portal you gun? Have... No, I don't have the portal you gun. You do now. Here you go, Look mate. at you, right. mate. Oh, you so, are the best, I'll go out man. for you when we go and see the Batman <laughs> a little bit later. Oh, you can man. Grab that. You are Very kind of champion. cool merchandise. So. You're a champion. Uh, in case Thank you ever so want to get out of the food. show early, you can just, just <laughs> yeah. get the hell out. So That's there awesome. we go. Let's get into the stories. It's not yes. a massive, massive week in news because it has no. been all taken up by the Batman. So there's been a little dodging and weaving and getting away from that story. Yeah. But there is some interesting stuff. And we're going to start it off with a movie that yeah. I liked but didn't love, and that was I Am Legend. Remember the movie I Am Legend? Yeah. 2007, Will Smith. Some dodgy looking CG vampires, but it was a good film. Wasn't amazing, but studios don't agree. They must have thought it's a great thing, because a great film, because now oh, they're that. developing a sequel starring Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan. Uh, yeah. Doing this 2007, which makes the film, if you think about how old it is now, that makes that film 15 years old. Why? Why now. do a sequel? How Why now? is more the question. And how? Yeah, Correct. what is Gamora is more the question, is how they do it. Because if anybody's seen the film, and spoiler alert He's, on a, yeah. on a, uh, on a <clears> 15-year-old <throat> goddamn book, not that one, that, that was no time to die. Spoilers <laughs> um, on an old film is uh, Will Smith died in it. That's right. He died at the end of the movie. So how the hell do they intend to bring him back? So it sounds like they're going to do some creative writing and uh, uh, I don't have and they're kind of got to do it. In the original <laughs> version of the screenplay, which they were going, I don't know if they filmed it or not yet, Rick, but he got away at the end. He, he ran away with some survivors at the end of the original script. But they changed it. So Will Smith died. So... I don't know. I Are don't you interested at all, Rick, nah. in seeing a sequel nah, to I Am Legend? Hell no. This is going to be, nah, nah. It's going to be a flop. I'm telling you now. It's one, it's way too late. And, and like you said, how and why. And that it'd have to be, the writing would have to be top notch to yeah. to draw people in. Now, I'm, I'm I'm not a fan, mate. I don't, yeah, I don't see this going anywhere. I like Michael B. Jordan. I think he's a great actor. Um, But I just, yeah, I can't see it happening. So, just seems, it just, yeah. I just don't see the need. I I, I don't, I don't feel in the uh, in the zeitgeist people, you know, oh, wanting right. this movie in any way. But no one's screaming. But I think you're right. No. I, I, he'll probably find a home in a streaming platform somewhere. So yeah. So but I will not be rushing out. So but no. there you go. I am Legend Two can go fuck itself. So That's it. let's move on to uh, the next story coming out. Is, yes. Again, a, 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 another well. Sequels, prequels, <laughs> remake, reboots. It's that world in which we live in. And this one pertains to Alien. Alien. There apparently is a new Alien movie to be directed by Fede Alvarez for Hulu. So if you don't know, they've been developing an Alien TV series, which is completed mm. filming. 
um, and just been put together. Uh, Fox is doing that. I think it's Noah Hawley, I think, is doing that, if I remember correctly. But they're now going to go and do another Alien film. And i got to ask you this question, Rick. I know you're not a horror fan, but you do like mm. the Alien movies. I know yeah, we I do. About them we do. Stuff like that. Do you want to see another film? If they're making a TV show, do you think there's a need for a film? Is this universe big enough that it needs to be on the level of a Marvel, Star Wars, where there's spin-offs and movies nah. and TV shows? <clears throat> Look, I don't, I don't think it's it's it warrants another movie, to be honest with you. Um, I like how the fact... Now, I've heard this is R-rated. They're going very, very dark and, and gruesome. In oh, this as it should be. Yeah. As it should be, which is great because it is Hulu. Um, and Hulu, I, I believe, doesn't have those restrictions like all the other no. streaming services. So, which is great, but I just no. don't think it's going to have that massive hype about it because it's not straight onto the big screen. They're putting it straight onto a streaming service, which I think probably would work in a way. But I just don't warrant seeing another. An Here's the, movie. the essential mm. problem that you have with. I think you risk. Now, now, I think the Mandalorian mm. has kind of done it well, and the Marvel has done it well, is that if you're seeing a TV show every week of Alien, why go out to the cinema and go see it? Well, I suppose it's not going to be in the cinema, is it? It's going to be on Hulu. No, so, so they're kind of like, is it like, okay, in saying that, that's it for Alien. I don't ever see there being another theatrical release for Alien again. It'll just live on streaming. And I just don't know how much more you can do with this storyline. I mean, if you think about it, we've had four Alien movies. We've had two prequels of Ridley Scott. We've had two Alien versus Predator movies. Oh, terrible. So, Mm. you know, I mean, yeah, it's just interesting. But I'm sure there's going to be lots of people out there excited. And let's not. Let's not undermine who I think has got a lot of potential as a film director, and that is Mr. Alvarez here, who is probably best known for audiences out there for for doing uh, the yeah, Evil Dead remake, which mm. was better than expected when they did that in 2011, I think it was. Yep. Uh, they then did that great little horror film called Don't Breathe. With that blind, you know, what's his name from Avatar, the villain from Avatar, uh, which was really good. But like, so he's got his background is is horror. Yeah, and so you've got some place in Spiders it. Web, that recent yeah. kind of retelling so, of those of the. No, he's a good director. He knows good. how to do horror. He can scare the crap out yeah. of you. That's the point. And that's but and if that's they the go real point. deep horror. Maybe there's something there, but uh, if they don't, yeah, yeah, we'll wait and see. Hey, we'll wait and see with that one, Rick. Next story we're going to pop along to is really does refer to the Batman. Not the yes. first movie because we haven't seen it. Um, this actually refers to Robert Pattinson was asked, "Where mm. does he think the Batman sequel, if they were to make one, and all by all reports it looks like it is going to happen, what would that story be about?" But apparently, Robert Pattinson thinks the Batman sequel will probably feature <clears throat> the Court of Owls. Oh, now it's funny enough in the story. It was at one point in the video, this Vanity Fair video here, which you can check on on YouTube. Um, basically, uh, uh, this immediately they were talking about the observation in the group. I think Thomas and Martha were leaders of the Court of Hours. This immediately caught Dano. Paul Dano plays a Riddler. Bro, he said to Pattinson, you've got to Bro. read the Court of Hours. It's the best Bro. one. <laughs> so... Uh, so, no, the Court of Hours, apparently. I want to go, do you know much about this at all, Rick? Yeah, a little bit of them, yeah, Jay. So, yeah. so basically, the, 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 the Court of Hours is an organisation crime group that it's a secret organisation. It was made up of wealthy um, Gotham Knights. Yeah. Um, and secretly, they what they do is they've existed since the colonial time, so it's a long, long time this group yeah. has in Gotham City. So they basically, they, they kidnap a lot of... Uh, younger children in the circus and they yeah. train them and transform them into their own assassins and they're known as, ah. as talons they're known ah. as talons so it first appeared in batman in volume two in in 2011 but yep. what what it is is i believe the majority of the the board i guess you could say or the leaders of them yeah. are humans and they wear our masks but yeah. there are some muted 
members that are like actually meta humans, as they call them in the DC yeah, world. meta humans, which are ours in it as well. So, wow, very, very cool, man. Mm. Yeah, that's that's interesting that they would go down. I think that's an interesting story to do, and one we haven't seen on screen before. No, so if they go down correct. that direction, yeah. that would be really cool. But you know, there's no point <laughs> we're getting excited no. about a sequel for a film we haven't seen, <laughs> we haven't seen, so cannot wait. <laughs> Excuse me, now. For our last story of the week, Rick, I wanted to talk about, you know, there was a trilogy that came out in the 2010s of a, of a yeah. movie that did okay, but I think was probably one of the best trilogies that had been made mm-hmm. for a long time, and that was the Planet of the Apes trilogy yep. that we got. And remember that? That was Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Yep. We had Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and Caesar. then War of mm. the Planet of the Apes which really followed the story of Caesar throughout yeah. those three films. And I thought all three films were was excellent. By the way, the tie-in for the Batman is Matt Reeves directed a couple of those Planet of the Apes movies. Yeah, there you go. Mm. There you go. But they are now talking about a new Planet of the Apes movie, Rick. Oh no, God. not Batman. A new Planet of the Apes movie could start shooting this summer. Which is interesting because it was a very tied up franchise at that point. We got that whole story of Caesar. But Rick, there's a lot of things that happen between Caesar and the humans landing on the planet of the apes. So mm. it's interesting. There's bugger all about the plot of it, what it potentially could be. Um, but it's supposed to be directed by the Maze Runners Wes Ball. Uh, oh, Maze yeah, Runner. Main runs, oh, uh, no. Uh, yeah, the Maze Runner. But, <laughs> hey, look, I think yeah. it's a universe that you can explore a little bit further. I think there's a little bit of petrol left in the tank for this series. So I'll be curious to see what type of movie they do, whether they're going to try to remake the original 1968 Planet of the Apes, which oh, would be a huge which mistake, is classic. No. or whether they're going to do some movies uh, that are before Planet of the Apes, all ones that are after. You never know. So mm. I'll be very curious to see how we go. Did you like the this Planet of the Apes trilogy? That we the the trilogy. I didn't mind it. I thought it was it was good. I I, I did enjoy them. Um, you know, and I I liked the original. You know, which was great. Um, yeah. Not the not the Wahlberg one. That was yeah. I thought uh, I thought what made this this series interesting was to me was it actually got better with every movie. Yeah, yeah, it was done well, and the CGI was great for its time, and 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 they looked so realistic. It was really good, and and Caesar, how they portrayed him was was amazing. But I, I don't it's know, call him himself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, but uh, do we need another one? Like I just, you know, I just feel like these these uh, big executives this is where are, I flip. Geez, we're running out. You know what I mean? This like, is where I got any In one ideas. hand, I'll tell you that no, we don't need a new oh, alien movie. But for me, I think there is some stories still to tell. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we'll see. Like I said, they're, they're starting to shoot it this summer. So we'll, we'll see. I'm keen to see I am surprised they're doing it because I don't think those films ever really rocked the box office severely. <coughs> I don't have their – I think they did moderately well. I don't, I don't believe that they ever just smashed it out of the park. But No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it really does feel recently that – are we – yeah, we're really just retreading now, aren't we? A lot more than that's we were. what it feels like. Even in previous years, we are retreading, and that goes for everything that we're watching at the moment. Even stuff we enjoy. I mean, we're going to go and see now what the it is the seven ninth Batman. ninth Batman film, tenth ninth. Batman film. Seven, if ninth. you were to, if yeah. you were to, yeah. So <laughs> that's yeah. No. I know. I know where you come no. from, dude. So yeah, so yeah. Look, we'll wait and see. We'll see what kind of happens with that. You know, I think more and more this stuff because of budgets and streaming shows and that. Yeah, I just think this stuff needs to be left, you know, for the streaming services. You know, if they put it, yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot more coming on streaming, but they got to put if they got to put something big. They got to put something big on the cinemas. Where does that leave your... things, though, Rick? Really, if you start to really think about this, dude, where does this leave things for the future for us? I mean, what is going to be cinema worthy? 
Is it only yeah. comic book films and, 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 and giant franchises like Star Wars that now will ever get to see a cinema release? You know, and what does that mean, you know? Do we get to a point where, you know, maybe franchises live on streaming and the only time you ever get to see a really original thing will be out in the film? But uh, sure. I would expect, Rick, what's going to happen in the next five years is our ticket prices are going to go through the roof. Well, they Cinemas need to are going to get far more expensive to go and see, but the films you will see there will be very exclusively cinema for a while because I think streaming is just taking over. It's just well, they need to do something because they're going to entice people to come to the movies. And what went like I mean, there are a lot of movies like the Batman does, and obviously, what, what's after this? Yeah, the biggest one is Doctor Strange for us. Yeah, of there's course. a few others that will get you into the cinema, but, but everything in between. Right, like, really, would you go? Yeah. You know, you and know. I mean, even the Batman has got a couple of spin-off series in the works for HBO It's Max. got two two spin-off movies. Uh, yeah. Spin -off, yeah, shows, Stuff. which we'll so, talk you know, about. But, it, yeah. We're never going to be short of content to watch on stream. No. We're never going to be short of that. No. So it's just like, what is cinema worthy? So I think we're, we're definitely moving into a, to a new era for us, probably the most uh, fascinating era to see what happens to cinemas moving on. Like we had spoke about a couple of weeks ago, we had a the closure of our last driving. Yeah. It's gone. Which is okay, it's a drive and it's an old format to watch film, but <clears throat> it is the beginning of something significantly Correct. changing. Like in our city where we live Rick, here in a little old Adelaide, there is actually not a commercially run cinema comp in sight in the movie in the sorry in this middle of the city no. if you want to go to a movie cinema Not here in adelaide you've actually got to go to the suburbs you've got to go out to the suburbs to go to a multiplex <coughs> as we call it in america and see a movie there when i grew up all the cinemas were in the city correct you go to the yep. city to go see a movie it was an event it was a night out now it's you know it's well, really it's to the suburbs they're all yeah. gone, which is They're a shame. All, all the one in the cities. I mean, gone. there's a couple yeah. of boutique uh, ones, but yeah, but there you go. Hmm. But there you go. So that's where we're at. That's it. So that's it, Rick. That's all the stories I've got this week. It's a bit of a shorter show because it wasn't a hell of a lot to talk about, but there's going to be a hell of a lot more to talk yes, about. Yes, next week. Next week, when we do have the Batman review, plus all the <laughs> other stories that will come out, I'm sure we're going to have. Lots to talk about there. Oh, hell yeah. In the meantime, Rick, yeah, back. Uh, don't forget, everyone, to start watching our first episode, well, our second episode on Captain's Quadrant, the show I'm doing with Joe from the US, from Truby Singh, where we're talking about Star Trek, nerdy stuff. And uh, last week we did a season one review. This week we're doing our review on the first episode of season two. Two, so that's I'm filming that very shortly with you our are. friend Joe, and that'll be up later today. So keep an eye out for that. But most importantly, we'll be back next week, won't we, Rick, for another show? Yes. In the meantime, the guys, we really want you guys to comment on the show, talk about you know, comment on what we're talking about. Do you agree with this? Do you don't agree? Do you think this is a complete waste of time, or you're getting something from it? We don't know anything unless you talk to us, and Rick. How do they do that? Guys, all you need to do is give us a comment down below for the video. Also, give us one of these a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell so you know every time one of our videos pops up. Yeah. Also, hit that subscribe button for us. And just follow us all on our social media sites, guys. We've got a lot of social media sites going at the moment. So yeah. jump on board and drop us a comment and like, share, do all the, all the cool stuff. And also, jump in our uh, Pop Culture Spread store as well and pick up some very cool merchandise. Very comfortable. Family. It is. Rick, it's the quality mm. and it's the comfort of these Top things. Top quality. So and, and support us, poor, poor lowly. <laughs> yeah, that's so it. That, that would help a lot as well. I could pay the bills. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's it for this week. We will see you all next week on for another episode of Pop Culture Spread. Well, uh, we'll thanks, catch you guys. Later, see guys. You Bye. See you later. <laughs>